Hello guys, this is Maya for beginners and I am Adito Imam Edaringa. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make shadows using a high shadow catcher. I mean Android. Android, for God's sake, and not renderer. So that is exactly what I'm going to be using today. So um, I've, ha I've been having um, issues with this since um, the Android came out, but I just you know discovered how to make that so um that is exactly what we're gonna be doing today so the first thing i'm gonna do just we will be using this guy and uh i, I would go to uh, uh okay i need to create um image background i mean image plane to this so that you know we know how our shadow works so uh i would go to um okay i'm gonna go to windows create outliner and I would select my perspectives and yeah <clears throat> the attributes editor and I will look for my environment environment okay this is it so I'll create image plane and on that image plane I would select a file the road um, file and I should have it there, so I need to readjust, you know, this guy, so that it fits in. I think I want it to be somewhere here, it's kind of like so, something like that. That is what I want. So um, the next thing I'm gonna do is I will create a plane to have my shadow casted on, and I'm going to um, go to um on the channel box the subdivision i'll change everything to one and that's pretty much all i need to set now so the next thing i'm gonna do is i will um this plane i would give it uh assign new material to that serious and renderer and i would see i a i shadow catcher so that is exactly what i want so that is all that is all let's render and see what happens Yeah. Okay. Now, um, everything, not everything, most, mostly everything is black. That is because, um, we don't have any light and the only, um, reflection we see here is from the cloud, the sky. And that is what is going on. That is why we have everything black. And this guy, um, this shadow catcher, um, shader that we had it, um, we need to do some things that is why it is black it's still opaque so we need to you know select this guy go here and look for our node and on the our node we see opaque just uncheck that you can go to the shadow catcher shader also and look for enable transparency so enable transparency and that is what we need now um, about the um, lights let's create lights I'm just gonna create um, directional light, scale that up, and you know, let's assume the light is from the black back. So I'm just gonna do it that way and let's render again and see what is going on. You can see we don't have, um, we don't have, what's it called? We don't have the um, plane again. Now we have our car alone with the shadow but it's, it's still you know compared to the environment this guy is still dark to me so we have enough a, a lot of shadows and we can see really see a lot of things here and that is because we're using another renderer and it's you need to pop up the you know um the light intensity light doesn't work in anod like it works in metal and other renderer so here it's it's you need to you know use excess of um, intensity that is what i'm gonna do now so the next thing i would do is still selecting that guy i can just pop this guy to 10 let's see 10 is that 10 now i would not use okay i'm just gonna take this back yeah so i would not use i'll be using ipr now see that is quite something well 
now i will go to the shadow option here and change from black to dark i think it's, it's casting shadow too much so here i can create another um i mean i can create area lights to fill in the front place and i'll just go to area light and bring it back so i'll bring it to the front you can scale that up and i can just rotate it about about y axis in 90 degree so that it faces the car does it it doesn't it doesn't that will be 180 i meant 180 sorry so 180 so it's time to bring it up bring it up and face like so it's fills and we can increase the intensity like i said you need to pop it up something like so okay and that is how to create shadow uh, uh using another renderer that is it so thank you guys for watching this tutorial i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i hope you like it share and subscribe thank you very much and yinko lebe is saying we shall be meeting again in peace and not in pieces so i'm saying peace out peace out peace out